What's up guys, it's Ron and in this video we're going to be walking through a members only day at MSR Crescent. It's a track just outside Dallas, but what's special about this, I'm in my 2021 718 Cayman, is that the track is just empty. It's a, It starts off as a dry day, uh, the rain falls, you can see the track gets pretty wet um, and I'm slipping out there, but with, with that rain there was nobody out there. I had my own private track for for you know several hours and I was also doing this as part of a coaching session with Eric Foss so subscribe to this channel if you're interested in what it's like at either a members day uh, tracking in a Cayman or doing private coaching and it was really a blast I, I learned a ton and it was much better I thought than instruction so Let's get to the laps and I'm going to keep narrating if if it's kind of interesting you know I watch a lot of YouTube videos which are just race render and I have my aim data but the videos don't really have any commentary and what I want to do on this is just kind of walk through what I'm thinking in my head when I miss an apex when I don't get on the gas early what is kind of going on through my head and hopefully there could be a little bit more dialogue as opposed to just watching somebody drive around the track and and posting their lap time so here I'm still warming up um, you can see it's still dry this is little bend um, I'm, I'm staying in third although when I was driving with the instructor or the, the coach you know he was into fourth here um, I probably track too wide right here I don't want to cross about the midpoint um, you can really get on the gas early coming up this hill this is tombstone you it's a, it's a constant radius you just really want to feather that with the uh, with the throttle um, here you need to be into fourth right away um, not shifting out of fourth but here see I hit fourth but I don't really get up there this turn is big bend it should be taken in fourth gear which is a little bit scary it took me some time to get used to on this car but really it, it handles well and this is the uh, the longest straight so we're pretty much topping out fourth not really worth it to upshift to fifth um, tight turn I need to hit this apex um, it's a slow corner so fast hands and, and really just get on the gas I'm on street tires so everything on my car is completely stock uh, stock Pirelli's stock pads I did upgrade brake fluids to some Motul uh, 660 um, so now uh, it's it's starting to rain. Uh, there was one other, there was one Miata and this GTI coming out a few times, and so the rain is starting to fall. And his all-wheel drive is really pr promoting his confidence here, because uh, we were turning similar lap times. But when the rain was falling, there you can see the wipers kicking on. Um, he had a lot more confidence, and I'm just you know kind of kicking the back end loose. The front end is plowing. It's it's um, it's a little dicey. Um, in that transition from a dry track to rain falling but honestly it was a lot of fun once the rain started coming down and I, th I think in a couple of half a lap here I, I actually put up the windows uh, because it was just so much rain uh, it was coming into my car and it was like getting my the side of my arm wet it was kind of crazy but once that happened you know I just slowed down the speeds and, and it was actually pretty fun to just be driving at about seven tenths or six tenths in on a wet track um, so this was yeah you can see I'm just I'm just losing traction uh, getting on the gas there uh, I actually have I have more footage of me not in this particular one where I, I have a, a little bit of an off in the rain and totally fine not not a big off but I, I, I do put two off into the dirt um, a little bit dicey in the mud ish but yeah you know uh, subscribe to this channel I'm gonna be posting more content um, broken up from this so I'll post my fastest lap of the day which is about a 126 highest 126 127 uh, I'm going to post all of my thoughts and show you kind of what the coaching session looked like when we started the day uh, it's really really data focused and I don't know just let me know in the comments do people like this type of commentary or do they just want me to shut up and listen to the car and just look at the the fast lap with all of the uh, data inputs so I'm gonna do race studio or race render to look at that
Ricochet high speed corner there. Barely getting into fourth when I should be in fourth pretty early. All right, well, that wraps up this uh, little MSR Crescent um, intro. This is just kind of an experiment for me, but uh, let me know if you liked it in the comments. Uh, let me know if you didn't like it and you just want me to post the straight videos, but we'll see you next time.